So following past releases for this Air Jordan 1 High OG, like the Vancetta Tans, the Polens or even the Taxis, in today's video we're gonna have a look at the latest one which dropped here in the UK uh, in the first half of January. guys and welcome back for a brand new review if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and also giving me a like it really help out the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram and tiktok to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days in today's video guys we're gonna have a look at the first release for 2024 for a pair of jordan 1 high ogs so let's go ahead and take them out of the box which as you can see will come in this uh, off-white uh, colorway which will have the big nike lettering also the nike swoosh in this yellow color here on top and we're also gonna have them of course on each side of the box so let's go ahead and take the shoes out guys so in today's video we're gonna have a look at a very interesting uh, release for 2024 for this uh, jordan 1 high in this yellow ochre colorway <music> just uh, dropped guys uh, at least uh, here in the UK on the 13th of January for the retail price of 175 or 180 US dollars which for sure it's a big difference in price but nevertheless we got this one in which uh, to be honest uh, it looks uh, much better in hand and I would say that even the materials feel good as well so in case you are not yet familiar with this uh, release from uh, the online pictures uh, this one will bring a mix of materials between a very nice and interesting yellow color for this no back and white tumble leather which for sure looks much nicer at least on foot or even in hand so as i said earlier this one will be another yellow color combination which will follow the vancetta tan the polens or even the taxis which dropped in the last couple of years so for sure i find that this one it's an interesting one which for my surprise uh, it's actually sitting uh, in a lot of places and i guess if you are not uh, totally interested in buying this one now i guess at some point these ones will go on sale which in the last couple of years you wouldn't think that it's gonna be possible to have a pair of jordan ones on sale as you might know uh, the hype for these ones in 21 and even in 22 was quite high and you couldn't actually get your hands on them on the release date but nowadays they are actually sitting in a lot of places which for sure it's good for most of the people we can finally get these ones for retail or even under so let's go ahead and also do a breakdown of this one guys so as you can see for this upper we're gonna have a mix of two materials one of it will be this uh, yellow no back which will cover the front part of the tobo section this one also be present here at the lacing system covering also partially this uh, ankle section where we're also gonna have uh, this uh, black wings logo and this one will also be present here at the back covering the whole heel section while coming back at the front of the shoe covering the top part of the tobo section we're gonna have this sail tumble leather which will also have your perforation holes to give it some breathability and I need to admit that this one actually feels quite nice to the touch and it's also quite soft so this sail leather material will also be present here in the midfoot where it's gonna sit underneath this black nike sushes as in for the actual lacing system we're gonna have your normal punch out holes which will keep in place uh, this uh, black uh, flat laces but in the actual box we're also gonna receive a second pair of laces in this uh, cell color which in my opinion feels to look slightly a bit better than the black ones so underneath these laces as usual we're gonna have a nylon tongue in this uh, cell color which will have a decent amount of padding nothing special here and as you can see at the top we're also gonna have this uh, yellow tag which will have written the nike air and also the nike swoosh in this black color 
So besides this yellow Nobuck and the sail leather material, we're also gonna have a black tumble leather here at the ankle section, which again feels actually quite nice to the touch. So going now inside of the shoe guys for this one we're gonna have a black lining which underneath will have a decent amount of padding which I feel that it's keeping my foot quite good in place. And at the bottom we're gonna have this uh, I would say a fake dream cell foam insole which uh, feels good enough but I would have preferred the dream cell one which felt slightly a bit more squishy. So this one will have uh, here at the heel section the Nike Air and also the Nike Sushi imprinted in this black color. So now guys uh, we can go to this uh, Sail Rubber Midsole which will have a normal standard pattern, nothing changed here. And this one of course will also be stitched to the actual shoe. And in case you don't already know, here at the heel section we're gonna have that uh, air sole unit uh, encapsulated. Which for sure you need to wear it for at least a couple of times in order for this one to become slightly more comfortable. So now we can go to this uh, rubber outsole in this yellow color which will have your normal standard pattern, nothing changed here. So this one apparently it's one of the best uh, in the world which will include the circular design here at the front. While here in the middle you're still gonna have your usual Nike lettering and also the Nike swoosh. As in for the actual sizing guys, as I'm doing in most of these releases coming for the Jordan 1 high, I'm just going with my true to size and this one fits me just fine and I will see that it's gonna be roughly the same for people with normal fit. But just in case you have white feet guys, most of it I will suggest you to go with at least a half size up just to make sure that this uh, front part of the shoe which is actually a bit pointy is not gonna be too tight for you. So overall guys, this uh, brand new release for this uh, Jordan 1 high OG in this yellow ochre colorway. In my opinion it's actually looking quite good and it also uses uh, quite good materials as well. Even though we're gonna have this uh, Nobuck coming in this yellow color for sure I feel that this one it's actually a very nice uh, touch which if I'm not mistaken was uh, the same for that uh, UNC colorway. So for sure I find that this one it's actually a very interesting uh, drop which as I said earlier it's uh, still sitting in a lot of places which will make me think that these ones will actually go on sale in the next uh, couple of months which for sure everyone is uh, waiting for and of course by having uh, at least that uh, second pair of laces uh, we have an extra option in my opinion I really feel that the white ones uh, are working a bit better with this upper but for sure guys I find that this one it's actually a very solid uh, drop for this uh, start of uh, 2024 so I guess if you don't have uh, something similar to this uh, colorway for sure you can just go for it or as I've said earlier, you can just wait for these ones to go on sale. But for sure, I find that this one, it's a solid uh, drop. So yeah, guys, this was my unboxing and reviewing of this uh, brand new release coming for this uh, Jordan 1 High in this yellow ochre colorway. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to press the like button. Maybe also subscribe to the channel. You can also give me a follow on Instagram and TikTok to see exactly what I'm going to review in the next few days. Of course, if you want to have a look at any of my latest reviews, you can choose from any of the videos which you have now on the screen. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.